Hi y'all, it's me. Um, I'm doing this Scrap Swap Etiquette 101 um, for a couple of reasons. One is because of a, uh, some swaps I've been involved in um, that have gone awry for various reasons. And for all the new uh, scrappers out there who get involved with swaps. And um, Jules did a video about what a swap is, but I'm doing about etiquette because there are rules and... Um, you know, if you're not going to abide by the rules, then you shouldn't participate. That's all there is to it. Um, so number one, read and follow swap instructions completely. This is very important, ladies, because this is what gives you the details of the swaps that you're participating in. It tells you what item you need to create, what it should include, how it should include it, um, any special instructions like that. It will give you the um, measurements, the deadline of when this needs to be to the hostess, which is really important. Um, it will give you uh, instructions as to however the hostess wants to conduct this swap. So read it through. Even though it says charm swap and you say, oh yeah, I know what a charm is, please read it through because there's always a chance that there may be something thrown in that, oops, you didn't know. So that's number one. Number two, respond to hostess. If you get emails from your hostess, it would be really nice to reply to her in a timely manner. Our time is just as valuable as yours, and so it would be nice if we could hear from you in a timely manner. Um, you will not be contacted often. I mean, it's rare, but in those circumstances where it's required, please respond promptly. Number three. Um, I know we're all different levels of scrappers. Some of us are really advanced, some of us are not. Um, I don't have a problem with that, and I don't have a problem with those groups being mixed. I do have a problem with those people who I know are really good, and they wait till last minute to do their pages or their project or whatever it is, and they just slap stuff together. I mean, you can really tell when someone puts their time into it and their efforts and you can tell when they don't. Um, so please just make sure you give it your best and remember that you want to give away something that you would be happy to receive. So keep that in mind. Um, number four, uh, if you're doing a secret Santa kind of swap where um, you're not telling your partner who you are and there's just a certain you have to keep it secret and all of that kind of thing. Please be sure and respond to them or write to them and involve them because that, that is what makes those types of swaps fun to deal with is when everyone participates. And again, I know we're all busy, but if you sign up, that means you have time. So please make the time. Um, number, where did I leave off? Uh, five, I believe. Um, Meet your deadlines. Please meet the deadlines. Please be sure your items get to the hostesses on time or if you're dealing one-on-one -on -one to your swap partner. No one wants to wait for stuff and the hostess definitely doesn't want to spend her time trying to get after everyone to find out where their items are. Please follow the deadline. If you live internationally and the swap is here in the States, keep in mind that you're going to need extra time to get it in on the deadline. It's just the way mail is. Vice versa, if you live here in the States and you're participating in an international swap, please be mindful of the mailing time. There is a big difference. So if you don't wait until the last minute to do your project and you do it almost when you sign up, chances are you'll have enough time to get it there by that deadline. If you don't think you can, then you shouldn't join the swap. It's just that simple. Uh, number six, please include large enough envelopes to fit the items that are being mailed back to you and make sure that they're addressed and have either postage adhered or funds enough to cover the postage um, because your page might be let's say for example you're in a page swap and you might be doing um, a six by six, your page might be thin and nothing on it. That doesn't mean that everyone in the swap will be. Other people do large large and bold and bulky. So please keep that in mind that your page is not the only size page that's there. 
that everyone needs to be able to fit in your envelope so that the hostess doesn't have to go out and purchase envelopes or make all those necessary arrangements to accommodate your need. Um, the money is really important as well. If you're living inside the U.S. and you're in a swap that's here, please be sure to include enough postage. You know what the rates are. You can get them at your local post office. And please be sure to include enough postage, whether it be fund or uh, stamp. And if you're also uh, dealing with um, international people that are dealing with swaps here in the States, uh, we can't exchange foreign dollar amounts here because, well, in my instance, my bank won't do anything under $100. They won't exchange foreign currency. So please uh, make sure you contact your hostess to ask her what would be the best method. In most cases, it would be PayPal or a postal money order. We are able to deposit those into a bank and let them sit there until they clear US or can it, or foreign post office or whatever it is. So please just be sure to um, to keep in mind all of those details. It makes swaps more fun. It makes it enjoyable for everyone, including the hostess who has a lot to do. You know, it's not as easy as it sounds. I'll receive packages and ship them. There's sorting. There's going to the post office. It's just a lot of stuff to do. So please, please, please make sure that when you sign up that you're able to do it. And hey, you know, I know we're all busy. Life happens. We all have things that come in. But my life is no less busy than anyone else's. And we all have emergencies and that's understandable but please communicate those to your swap uh, hostess she may be able to get an angel swapper in your place if it's needed provided you pr give her enough warning you can't just call her the night before a deadline and say hey I can't do it um, so please 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 make it easier for all of us and let us stop having these headaches with swaps they're so much fun when they work right so let's help help and all make them work right and thank you for listening to my ramblings. I, you know, it's just been a thorn on my side, so I had to do this. So you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Oh, and did you like all the flowers? Aren't they pretty? Prima. Okay, bye.